My name is Dan Fletcher. I'm going to show you a voltage drop test in this Peterbilt 379 series. Uh, right here is the diagram of the simple uh, lighting or light bulb circuit. So from right now, what I'm going to do is going to measure across the battery, which is this right here. Now how I'm going to do that, I'm going to take my multimeter right here, measure across the battery. It should read 12.5 volts. As you can see, it measures 12.5 volts. Now from here, I'm going to turn my headlights on. I'm going to remove the relay. jump the relay using this jumper cable right here. What that dude is going to put power through the circuit. Now what I did in the diagram is I connected, I put power to the relay which then closed, turned the relay off, or uh, closed the relay right here. So now I have power going from 30 to 87. You see on the relay, this is 30 to 87 right here. I just jumped that in the electrical circuit. Now I'm going to measure from 30, I'm sorry, from the battery to the beginning of the relay. And I should, I should get 0.15 volts. Measure across the relay from 30 from 30 to 87. I should get around 0 0.02 volts. You can see that 0 0.05. That's within spec. It's not a problem. Now I'm going to measure from back of the relay to the to the input of the headlight. To do that, I'm going to use this jumper cable right here. Right here, here input. Up. That's the input to the light bulb. I'm going to attach that to my lead. Touch, and we're going to the back of the relay. And I am reading 0.315 volts. Now I'm going to measure across the light bulb itself. Getting 11.34, sorry, 11.43 volts. Now what we're going to do is test from the output to the, of the light to the battery. So switch feedback. 
Après. volts. Now what I did, all the voltages that I just measured should add up to the entire circuit, which I get from my battery, at 12.26 volts. Thank you, and that's the voltage shot test on this Peterbilt 379 series.